Martin, the question on everyone's lips, I suppose, after what Andrew Strauss and ECB have said yesterday, has there been any approach for Jason Gillespie yet? No, is the uh, is the easy answer. Um, you know, there hasn't. So, you know, we've we've got no real comment to make until something happens. But at the moment, um, you know, it's purely what Andrew said yesterday, and uh, and nothing more at the minute. Have you spoken with Jason about his future here? Yeah, of course I have. I mean, we we speak about his future a lot. You know, he's had a lot of uh, uh, kind of interest in him of late. So, you know, we spoke quite a bit about his future. And, uh, you know, as I say, at the moment, there's nothing definite from the ECB. Um, and until that happens, you know, we can't really make any comment because there's nothing to talk about. From a county perspective, though, is it a concern that the man who took the club from Division 2 to the top of the county championship could potentially be leaving? Well, of course. I mean... County cricket's funny, isn't it? That you you know you you want your players to go on and play for international teams, so you want to develop them and play international cricket. And similarly with your coaches, it's always good if they go on and 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 further their careers. So it's it's kind of what what county cricket does. So um, you know it's it's great for him personally to be to be linked with the England job um, and to be linked with other jobs. But you know from a purely selfish point of view, obviously. Um, you know, we, we hope Jason will stay with us and, um, you know, we've, we've got unfinished business here. Um, he has done a great job for us over the last few years and, um, you know, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. You know, it's, it's all speculation at the minute. Obviously, Andrew Strauss has said that they're interested in speaking to him. At the moment, they haven't. They haven't asked us to speak to him. So we're just waiting to see what happens. The lure of the England job is obviously going to be tremendous for him. How can you convince him to stay? It'll be his decision, you know, ultimately it'll be Jason's decision, you know, he's a, he's a strong character, he's a strong man, um, it'll be his call, you know, so, um, you know, what will be will be, but at the moment, as I say, we've got nothing official from ECB, um, and we'll wait and see whether something official does come. Martin, you know Jason well, you've seen how hard he's worked to get to the top, what's your gut feel if an offer comes in, do you think he will accept it? Um, again. I, I don't want to really comment on that because at the moment it's pure speculation. Um, so, you know, I'd rather not go down that route. Um, you know, when or uh, if an official uh, request comes in, then we'll deal with it then. Um, and he'll deal with it then. But at the moment, um, you know, he's made no decisions because there's, there's no offer there. So there's no point in, you know, even worrying about it at the minute. Um, so until he knows exactly what's what the offer is, if there is one, um, you know, he can't really make a decision. All that aside, do you feel as though he's ready for a job that is the magnitude of the England coaching job? Um, yeah, look, I think Dizzy's a very talented coach, you know, he's got fantastic playing experience, you know, he's got um, a great rapport with lads, um, you know, great communicator, so, you know, I think as far as international coaching career is concerned, it'll be, it'll be when rather than if, that's for sure. And I guess on a personal level, how would you feel about an Australian coaching the England team if it did happen? I think everybody wants England to win. You know, we've had um, uh, non-English coaches before, um, so it's not the first time something like that will have happened. So, um, you know, as long as we beat Australia, I'm not, sh not really bothered who the coaches. Guys, Mark, can we move on to the game, please? If you don't mind. Could just ask two. One more, one more. Yeah. Uh, we understood that Jason was keen to speak to the media today. Is there any reason why uh, he hasn't come out? He was keen to speak to the media about the Yorkshire versus Hampshire game, but we knew that he wouldn't, he wouldn't be allowed to do that, so hence why I'm here, um, you know, just to protect him from these kind of questions because, as I've said at the moment, there's nothing really he can say because he's had no official approach from the ECB. Just finally from me, uh, you talked about him being a very strong character and, and we know he's, a, he's been very successful by following his own convictions, picking a lot of his uh, own players. If he was to work under... Andrew Strauss at the ECB and they would impose uh, a deci decision on him such as the Kevin Peterson one, how would he react to that? Again, only Dizzy can tell you that, you know, um, that's for him to decide if and when that situation happens. Um, but I keep reiterating at the moment, we've got nothing official, so there's not really much we can say other than that. But is he the sort of coach that would accept something, a decision on team selection being imposed on him? Um, I think that would be for him and Andrew Strauss to sort out. You know, clearly, if if talks happen, then you know I'm sure that is for them to discuss and and get clear 
clear roles defined really of, of what you know the England head coach role clearly is now you know and that's a little bit murky from you know from my point of view obviously we only uh, see what we've seen but you know there needs to be clarity of um, you know where Andrew Strauss's responsibilities uh, begin and end really and, and where the coaches do. Can you sum up the quality of the job he's done at Yorkshire that has led to this speculation and interest? Well, I think you only need to look at the record that we've had, particularly in four-day cricket over the last four years. Um, you know, it's been outstanding. And, you know, what, what Jason has allowed with, with our team is, is for them to go out and express themselves and enjoy playing the game. You know, that's his biggest strength, is that creating that environment where the lads can go out there and, and play, uh, play to their potential.